Condolences to the victims of the New Zealand shootings. So many pious folks lost because of psychotic rage. It is a sad thing that the mentally infirm can have access to guns. It is just impossible to tell who will snap until they do. Going postal is such a sad thing. In America, back in 1993, Mark Richard Hilburn went postal. This otherwise normal man became so angry that he shot two of his fellow post office employees, his mother, and even his dog. After that, the post office took action and put environmental analysts on the scene to help make the workplace a better place so that folks would not become so frustrated with rage that they would commit acts of mayhem and murder. At no time after this terrible tragedy did the United States Postal Service consider censoring the mail in order to stop announcements of terrorist or violent threats. People have been free to say such things always. However, threats of imminent violence are not protected speech. They are criminal in nature. There is a certain dualism to this, whereas you're free to utter reprehensible and violent speech. Yet you are responsible for the consequences of what you say. An announcement of an upcoming murder, giving a time and a place, or maybe even the target, is criminal, is not protected speech, and anyone who utters such things should expect to be arrested. However, there are no Tom Cruises out there with psychic assistance to stop someone from committing a crime before they commit it. Time will tell as to what motives and mental sicknesses Brenton Harrison Tarrant had to cause him to go postal on a group of worshipping, peaceful New Zealand citizens. The things we do know are that he was an alien in New Zealand. He was not a citizen, yet he possessed a firearm and used it to kill. Aliens committing horrendous crimes are not a new occurrence, and America too has had awful gun violence committed by aliens. Let's also give our condolences to the family of Kate Steinle, killed by illegal alien Jose Zarate in San Francisco, California. These tragedies happen. It is a sad thing, yet we can't just shut our borders and stop people from coming to our great country, nor can New Zealand, another country that is known for their independence and freedom. The murderer, Brent Harrison, an alien of New Zealand, has written a manifesto about his feelings for Islamic people, yet that was not found until after his murders had already taken place. There was no way the police in New Zealand could have known about it without resorting to Orwellian police tactics, which I am certain the law enforcement in New Zealand would never consider. All they had to find him was a solitary post on a bulletin board with a link to a Facebook live stream, moments before his terrifying and gruesome act of senseless violence. This is not the fault of NT Technology for providing the medium to announce his live stream. This is not the fault of Facebook for allowing his live action footage to stream as it happened. These are just tools that millions of people use daily. I'm sure that Facebook is fully cooperating with law enforcement to provide them with any pertinent data that will lead to a conviction of this killer. NT Technology is cooperating fully with law enforcement as well. We have been providing VVS service for 20 years and have always obeyed the law and supported efforts to apprehend violent criminals on the internet. Vicious trolls that talk about and post of copycat crime should take note that their speech is not protected by law or me. As far as censorship goes, I don't know the laws or morals of the New Zealand people. I do know that, like seeing the Twin Towers in New York fall on 9-11, made me nauseous, and surely this video must as well. Yet the news media plays that video often, and I always have that same reaction. I don't agree with the censorship of it, 
Whether they do in New Zealand is completely out of my control. I completely understand if the government of New Zealand might censor that content. However, that is not the law in America. I hope and pray that there are no copycat shootings in New Zealand. I hope that they can look to America for guidance in how to deal with criminal alien populations. There is no easy fix to this problem, and our sympathy and empathy for the survivors and families of the dead and injured won't make them whole. It is such a bad hurt they have suffered. I hope these families can at least get closure with the conviction of this merciless killer.